Hello everyone, Scottish lad here, and today we're going to be reviewing a set of the Beta Dart Yokotes. Really, really nice shape dart, but we're going to get a close up in a few seconds. I'm just going to take this opportunity to ask everybody if you like my stuff to consider subscribing to the channel, leaving a like on the videos, commenting your opinions. I do respect the feedback I get off people who watch them. I've had a, a lot of constructive criticism, and also that. There is a guy on Twitter by the name of Joe Reed who has recently done a review on my Darts Review channel. It's on the Facebook group, which will be in the pinned comments. And it's also on Joe Reed's website. I will put a link to his website up on the Twitter as well, so people can go and have a look. It'll be under the miscellaneous section. But for now, let's get on and have a look at the close up of these darts. So here we have the Data Dart Yokotes, 24 gram ones I chose to review, you can also get them in 22 and 26 gram, 90% tungsten. It's a bulbous shape, obviously as you can tell it reminds me of like a target Daryl fitting, just with the shape. There's obviously the paper at the front right down to the back. It says Data Dart on the dart, as you can see. They feel really nice and grippy. Probably a three and a half and a scale to one to five in my opinion. These reviews are all my opinion. Get some nice wee cuts on the nose there. I don't know if it's gonna focus up. And some wee dots at the back here as well. I'll get a better one at the close up, a little bit of close up maybe. And that's just making it worse. The length of these darts is 54.5 millimeters, so it's quite a long dart. And the width, this is according to the data dart website, is 6.9, but I'm just going to assume that is at the thickest point, which is here at the rear. It feels really nice. Obviously, as you can see, that's not the original stem and flight setup. I'll have a picture up at the end of the video or even at the start of the video of the packaging and stuff like that, the stuff that comes in the box with the darts. Price of these over on A180 darts, which is where I get a lot of the stuff I review, is £49.96. A great price for a nice 90% tungsten dart like this. The only thing is for me, in my opinion, is the points are a tad long. But most people change their points anyway. And the fact that the silver points, I don't really like silver points. But that obviously is personal preference. I'm not going to take points off them for that. And obviously the brand is data that. I'm hoping to have my own flights to go with these stems soon because that's the stems I'm going to be using using for reviews. But let's take them over to the board. Cover quite a few minutes for all. We'll see how we go. So here we go. Time to have a throw. We're going to start with the rear grip. Quick 6 or 9, 9 or 12 rather with the back. Move on to the mid and the front like we usually do in these videos. Twenty thirty two fifty six. Quite a nice feeling grip from the back. It's just that taper upwards that's kind of putting me off with the throw of these. One hundred. But it does really feel nice, it's quite it's not gonna it's sliding off my fingers. Fifty nine. Do a quick final three with the rear grip, and then we'll move on to the middle grip. Not what you like to see. 
and definitely not what you like to see. 21. That rear grip felt really nice there. It's just that kind of onto the taper that kind of put me off a little bit with some of the obviously wayward darts as you could see. But what we'll do now is we'll move on to the middle grip. So we're right on the thickest part of the darts. Um, here's hoping we do well. Sixty. Middle part feels really nice as well. Actually, I thought I was going to have a bit of trouble because I'm not normally throwing darts as thick as that on this length of barrel anyway. But they do feel really nice. Got a few throws of the middle, and then we'll move on to the dreaded front grip. As you guys know, I'm not a fan of front grip. Forty. From where I'm throwing at the hockey you'll not be able to see because how close obviously my camera is to the board but it seems as if they spiral a little bit like through the air and into the board it could just be the way I'm throwing them it could be my setup I'm not going to put it down to the performance of the darts we'll do another final three with the middle and then we'll move on to the front grip which I'll use from about here it really doesn't feel comfortable for me there. But we'll do another free from the middle grip. Forty five. Quite liked throwing from the middle grip there, it felt really nice. It felt a lot more you had a lot more room for your fingers on it compared to the rear, where you felt as if you didn't want to throw on the taper. So, the middle is definitely a good pushing point for anybody who throws, but we'll move on to the front grip and we'll see how we go. Not looking well so far. And definitely not. 25. Twenty six. Right, we're going to do another quick three at the front. I'm throwing from here on the front grip, so I'm literally right on the nose. Feels really nice. It's just when I'm pulling back, it kind of when I'm throwing it, it's losing. It's going like this, but it could be because I'm a rear gripper thrown from the front like that. But we'll have another quick three or six with these, and we'll see how we go. Well, final three with this, and then I'm going to go back and do a few from that middle grip and see if I can get us a decent score to end off with. I quite like the middle grip on these. Front grip on them isn't for me, but the grip is really nice at the front for all of you, all of you out there who front grip. 12, 17, so I'm going to go back and throw from the, rear, the middle grip rather, because that's where I enjoyed throwing these from the most, although I am a rear grapper. Let's see if we can end up with a decent score. Seven, twenty-one, forty-one. Final three from the middle grip, and then we'll go into a quick wrap up. Forty-one. 
57. No, I'm, I'm going to go another quick three for the rear. I'm not feeling entirely confident with the rear. As a rear gripper, I'm going to finish up on the rear grip. There we have it, the data dart, your Kote darts, really nice darts, 4996, basically 50 quid, let's just say, by the time you cover postage and stuff. Really nice, this is the first time I've had them out of the box, it's obviously for the review, I've not had them out of the box or through them before, so it was quite different for me, usually I'd like to have a throw and stuff with them. That's what I was meaning at the front with the lines, the vertical cuts, I couldn't really get a close up when I was doing close ups, dramatically. And that's like little dots at the back, so that adds elements to the grip at the rear. Not much, but it adds a little bit. Really, really nice. But the shape just isn't for me. I'm not a fan of this shape. I prefer a straight barrel. I did just to throw a shape like this. I used to throw the silicon on barrel fittings. Kind of regret selling them now, seeing some of the prices that they go for. But data that. They make some good stuff, they make the new the Jockey Wilsons and Orions, Gary Robsons, they make some great players darts, Wilfrey darts as well. This is the first set of data darts I've reviewed, it's actually the first set of data darts I've ever actually threw. So I'm actually quite pleased with that, they are actually really nice. 90% tungsten dart, I'll leave a link to the a, where they are on the A180 website. I'm also going to leave a link to the, the Facebook group and the Twitter and a pinned comment as... I'm going to try to grow them out a little bit. I've also got a Patreon account. I'm not really fussed about that, to be honest. Don't seem to be getting anywhere with it. But I've also got plans for fundraising cards and raffles and stuff like that in the future. So get yourselves onto the Facebook, follow the Twitter. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks everybody for watching. Goodbye.